Juwan, uh, 14 points, 11 rebounds, 6 of 6 shooting. It, your best performance, at least in the games that we've seen um, so far this season. I know it's only been three, but what's been the adjustment for you with maybe having more guys around you that can score at volume as opposed to last season when everything kind of flowed through you? And do you feel like you've just got a comfort level with, with where you fit in the offense with, again, more weapons, more options? Oh, uh, yeah, I think – I think it took a little getting used to and just took building some chemistry on that side of the ball. But I think um, just having all those weapons around me, just if I kept doing what I was doing last year, even if the ball wasn't coming to me, still setting people up with just a hard seal, being able to open up, uh, say, a lob for Romeo or just a drive for Justin or something like that, um, just keep staying aggressive. Juwan, having these first couple of games this week before you start getting to some of these non-conference marquee games, what were some of the things you needed to see in, in these two games this week that you felt like you saw? Um, I just think being connected on defensive end, I think we couldn't really worry about what was going on with the team we were going against. We just had to go out there and play as hard as we could and run our things. You know, we had to do what Indiana does. Jeff, uh, Juwan, last year you guys struggled right out of the gate. This this year you come out and just kind of put your foot on. <laughs> throws right out the gate. What's the big difference and why were you guys so just so ready right right out of the gate? Um, I just think with the older guys living through that uh, thing last year, I just think we came in knowing that's not how we want to start off this year. And uh, I think we really echoed that to the younger guys and they came in ready to fight along with us. Hey, hey Duran, a couple of plays. You had a baseline <laughs> drive, kind of a reverse hook shot. But especially uh, getting a loose ball mid-court and being able to take it all the way. I mean, given the injury you've had to rehab, how does it feel to have the confidence to be making plays like that? Um, it's, it's real good. Uh, it's been a long, you know, it's been a long off season for me. Um, just working myself back into game shape. Um, I feel like, you know, as far as my Achilles and where I feel with that, I feel, you know, pretty much 100% right now. Um, I'm in full going practice. So, you know, it just felt good to be out there playing a game with my team. I've been out for a while. So overall, just, you know, being out there with my, with my guys was just, you know, felt pretty good. Rob, it seemed like you guys were able to get the ball uh, down low into the rim against the zone pretty well. Just what were you guys just trying to do against it, and what do you think you did well just in terms of being able to uh, to get the ball in the paint? Uh, Coach really told us to try to feed the post and then play off of them, so that's what we did. Go ahead. Rob, just obviously it's early in your freshman year, and you've gotten a little, some extra minutes uh, with Devontae dealing with injuries and so on and so forth. How do you feel like you're, where, where do you feel like you're at just a couple of games into your first year? I'm still learning. I just want to. I learned from our, our older guys like Jawan and then the captains, uh, Zach. So just keep doing what I'm doing. I feel like I will get a lot better. I guess to follow up on that for, for you two guys, just what have you seen out of Robert uh, both in, I mean, going back to the summer and the preseason, <laughs> but especially as maybe he's had a little bit of the adjustment period of being able to put some some real game competition under his belt. Um, you got uh, it. Uh, honestly, I feel like Rob, you know, um, out of all the freshmen, um, it's besides, you know, Romeo, he's doing a great job. But Rogers came in, you know, ready for college basketball. Um, his body's um, real good. He's, uh, you know, he's mentally tough and smart on the court. He makes good, uh, good passes, good decisions. And, um, you know, he just, you know, encourages us on the court. Uh, he talks. So, honestly, I feel like, you know, he stepped into his role um, with Devontae being hurt pretty well. And I, I think he's seizing his opportunity. And for uh, Juwan and Duran, you guys, I thought you guys were very sharp tonight. But first two games, be honest, you know, you you had the opposition pretty thoroughly outmanned. Marquette's coming in here Wednesday with so many freshmen or newcomers on the team. What are you guys telling them about what happens when the competition ratchets up? This place uh, explodes. <laughs> <laughs> this place is going to be loud. Well, that and we just tell them that we got to uh, keep doing what we're doing. Um, we don't we try not to uh, really play down the competition or play up the competition. We try to stay at a steady level, and I think um, I think just us, the older guys, telling them what it's like. I think just going through it in practice, making the practices harder than the games, I think they'll be ready. <coughs> Duran, beyond just getting into game shape, just the last couple of months, just conditioning-wise, what have you been able to do as far as just you know getting your body in a position where you, where you can play some, you know, some meaningful minutes here early on? Um, well, honestly, um, you know, practice is um, just taking every rep I can, you know, um, just trying to try not to take reps off, um, just trying to, you know, build my condition. If we have a like a day like tomorrow, it's an off day. So instead of me, you know, being totally off, I come in for some treatment and maybe do some extra cardio or, you know, extra court work just to, you know, continue to uh, prepare my body. But um, I think the biggest struggle is me 
playing through the pains of my, you know, Achilles. It's not really my Achilles that's hurting. It's like everything around it is really sore, and my body's is always really sore. So me just getting over that hump is probably the main thing I'm focused on right now besides uh, game shape. I guess for any of you guys, Coach talks about defense to offense. I know lots of coaches talk about that, but I think it's it's something like 53 points off turnovers in the first two games of this season plus 32 points off turnovers in Southern Indiana. Just what makes you guys so good, not just to forcing the turnovers, but for being so good in transition off of them? Uh, we always preach just getting the ball ahead. I think as we got those turnovers, we got a lot of run outs. Um, I think just seeing plays ahead of time. I think if you see somebody really getting into them on a uh, defensive side and you see a steal happening, I just think being able to predict that and getting out uh, really helps us. And I think we've always, we were making a lot of great plays in the open court.